Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to do a head turn. So it's a character doing that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's create a new project and we're going to call this head turn. Head turn tut for tutorial. And then we're going to do append scene path to drawing append C path to inputs, append scene path to extras, hit OK. And now let's create a new scene and we will call the scene head turn to create. And we're just going to leave this default, okay? Frame rate 24, width, resolution, everything. Hit create scene. And if you haven't already seen my video on how to customize your X sheet toolbar over here, go watch that. It's a pretty short video because I, I use these a lot. Okay, so let's get our brush and we'll create a new style. And also I have a video on how I set up my uh, rooms and workspace. Okay, so we get our brush and let's go to frame one and we'll, we'll create a new Toons raster level and we'll call this rough. Hit OK. Hit yes. And we'll name this level We'll double click where it says col1 column one and we'll re re rename this r for rough i usually just do the name of the level the first letter or first couple of letters of whatever that level's called okay and now that we have that let's go over to our level palette and pick a brush so i'm going to hit the plus sign come down to raster tab under the level palette and I'm going to go down to this 2B pencil right here and we're going to start with our key poses okay and this will be Stan and I like to do these construction lines and he's got this little kind of Muppet nose and his eyebrows and his hair and he's just kind of happy and so we're going to try to keep it simple, okay? Uh, and just focus on two expressions, happy. And then when he looks the other direction, he's going to be uh, worried, okay? So like maybe he heard something. But we're not going to worry about arms or anything like that. Okay, so let's number this, uh, our first drawing. And we'll circle it to, to let us know that that is a keyframe, okay? So now let's go to frame two and we'll start drawing the second keyframe. So I'm just going to do a quick gesture line. See, we can already start to see it animating. Okay. So over here, I'm going to draw the head and flip it back and forth and do my construction lines and we'll get the nose. So, so these are our two key poses. Uh, clean it up just a tad, just so it's easier to read. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to get too carried away with cleaning it up right now. This is just our, our loose, rough animation, okay? Okay, so now that we have our second key, let's go ahead and number this 17, because we're going to move this down to frame 17, and we'll circle it let us know it's a keyframe and now let's take our little uh, this is called a if I can hover over it playback in marker it's this little triangle we're gonna pull that down to just below 18 okay and we will insert frames let's go to frame one we're gonna insert frames and I have a hotkey set to W insert frame so we're gonna go to frame one and that pushes frame two all the way down to 17, okay? And then we can go to 17, insert frame, and this will hold the first drawing for 16 frames. And then our next drawing is at 17, and it's gonna be held for two frames, okay? And now let's renumber these. So let's click on this little sidebar of our level and hit our hotkey up here, auto renumber, and it should make 
your numbers match your frames. Okay, your drawings match your frames. One and one, 17, 17. Okay, so now let's do our breakdown. And we're gonna put our breakdown on frame seven. Okay, so we're gonna go to frame seven and start drawing our breakdown. Okay, and this is where we can start to have fun, okay? We can uh, add character. He could come up and over, he could go down, he could, uh, we could have a smear frame, all kinds of stuff, okay? He's gonna come down. Uh, I'm not gonna turn on onion skinning. I'm just gonna try to feel by flipping what's going on. Okay, so he's gonna come down and then maybe maybe his body is starting to come over. I'm not sure if that's gonna work yet. Let's see. Okay, I liked it better. Okay, we'll just focus on the head for now. So I'm gonna drag the nose. And it's, it's okay to erase and scribble and uh, just keep it loose. Our goal here is just to try to, to animate it, to try to figure out the, the arcs, what parts are, are dragging behind, overlapping, uh, what his expressions might look like. Okay. So I really don't like that nose. I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to do a slight bend on it. Like this. Okay, that way we can see that back eye. I think that's what I wasn't liking about it. Okay, so our next drawing, let's do it at nine. And it could also be a breakdown of sorts. Okay, like it could still have like some drag, you know, like let's drag his nose way over like this <laughs> and his eyes have already popped open. Okay. And we could label seven. So seven is a breakdown. It's about halfway. And nine. Let's go to 11 and see what we can do in here. Turn on onion skinning. Okay, so 11. His head is pretty much where it's going to end on 17. Okay, let's go ahead and renumber everything real quick. So select your sidebar, auto renumber. That way everything matches. Our drawings match our frames. And let's go to frame 13. And let's do a drawing in here. Okay. Let's move on to 15, just to make sure everything's working. Okay, so let's get his head. Like I said, just keep it loose and rough. Get his hair. Maybe it <laughs> doing like spring, so let's have it come down slightly like this. And then Back up. That might not work, but eh, we'll try it. Okay, let's hit play. Boing. Okay, so now let's work on one to seven. Okay, so let's get one and let's go to five. Okay, so we're going to start easing out of this first drawing. And so right here, this is uh, when I talk about spacing, I'm spacing my drawings so that it's favoring this first drawing. Like I could favor the second drawing down here, but I want to ease out of this first drawing. So we're gonna move our drawing closer to this first one, okay? That way we can 
slowly come out of this pose. Don't be afraid to go back and change things. Like if you, okay, I want to drag, I want to get a little more of this going on. Okay, so let's just go back and do that. Okay, so let's do number three, our third drawing. So he's going to go from here down. Okay, so let's go back and clean up this drawing. It got really, really messy. Let's just kind of erase some of these lines. Okay, let's auto renumber and then we'll hit play and see what it feels like. Okay, let's mark this frame three, five, seven, nine. That way we can just keep track of everything. 11, 13, 15. Okay, I wanted to show you another example of a head turn with the exact same keyframes, but different breakdowns and different spacing. Okay, and just how much fun you can have with this. So here's our first key pose. And here's our second one. Okay, so these are our two key poses. But then they have different breakdowns. So this is this is what their their breakdowns look like. Okay. And then if you go back a little, this is getting into those breakdowns. And this is coming out of those breakdowns into the key poses. Okay. And what I did is I held um, a few of these drawings a few frames before. Just so it kind of reads on screen a little bit. And then also at the end, this is the, the, the last one. And then I... I just kind of traced over it to kind of keep the lines alive. Okay, so let me hit play. So you can see by just using these simple principles, you can get a lot of variety and flexibility and, and just have fun with it. Okay. Okay, so your assignment, if you choose to accept it, is to make a head turn and just go from one simple pose to another pose. Okay, so either go uh, happy to sad, uh, sad to happy, uh, scared to happy, um, uh, like melancholy to happy. Okay, and just keep it on those two key poses. Okay add some breakdowns and just keep it right around 17 frames. And until next time, happy animating and I'll talk to you later. Bye.